Ah, the Worldwide Network. Salutations of peace. Greetings. Hey, look, you guys come on in. Let me get dressed and we can start the day. Come on. Peace to the Worldwide Network. We are at my uh, old high school, man. One of my old high schools, Hopewell High School. Um, growing up, you know what I'm saying? My mom was in the military, so we traveled a lot. And um, I actually went to three high schools coming up. I went to Arundel High, Mead High, and Hopewell High. So between Maryland and Virginia, I was bouncing around in between high schools. <laughs> um, so this is the school I graduated from. This is actually Hopewell High School, the school I graduated, however. So, um, yeah, man, we're going to come in here and tap in with um, my good friend Larry Cherry, who's actually one of the head people at the school now. And, um, you know, you know what we do. It's purpose time. <laughs> You're welcome, my brother. No, thank you guys for having me, man. This, is, this means so much to me, man. I'm going to make it count. Yep, you got a vending machines over there. Yep. Oh, <laughs> yep. Yes, sir. Oh, man. All right now. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Come on, man. Come on, let me put these boxes up, man. Cherry bomb. <laughs> now, before we start, I got one question. Anybody can answer this. Just raise your hand. Your own words, your own definition. What does it mean to know your purpose in life? Anybody can answer that. What do you feel like it means to have a purpose and know your purpose in life? Anybody got an answer? Go ahead. She had her hand up first. Absolutely. What's your name? Yeah. Brianna. Brianna, just won twenty dollars. See, this is why you gotta raise your hand and answer questions first, man. You gotta participate. Thank you. Thank you. See that? You could have been twenty dollars richer just like that had you participated, man. Life is about taking the opportunity. As soon as you seize the moment, as soon as it hits your head, you know how many times you're in school and the teacher says, if you have questions, ask, right? And if <laughs> teacher say you have any questions, ask. And if anybody got any questions, nobody raises their hand. Then after you get to work, people start asking questions. Why didn't you ask questions when you knew you had questions? Your intuition said, I asked, let me ask this question. Most people are nervous. They don't want to speak up. Speak up for yourself. Right? So I graduated this school in the year 2000. June 2000. I would say August, September, about three months later, I was in the Baltimore Penitentiary. So I graduated high school and went to prison. How does that work, right? I'm gonna tell you how it works. Because when you leave these doors, if you don't have a plan, an idea for yourself, you're gonna be subject and susceptible to this world out here, right? So this is the time now. I'm not saying you need to know your purpose at this point in your life, you're too young. I'm telling you to start thinking about your purpose. And your purpose is gonna lead you to your gifts and your passions, and your passions and your gifts are going to lead you to your purpose every time. So the things that you're passionate about, the things that get you excited, I don't care if it's video games, math, fashion, clothes, music, that's your passion. Your gift is your naturally born gifts, the things you're naturally good at when you were born. If you work on them, you get better and better, right? But your purpose is why you're here on this earth. It's your God-given reason for being on this earth, right? Take Cherry, for example. Cherry, high school, football player, all-star, right? He could have went to the NFL, right? We thought, we, we thought he was going to the NFL, right? Is football, was football your purpose, or was it something that you were passionate at and gifted at? I, I was passionate at it. That's right. You see, now you got a lot of people who play, in, who play basketball, football, they think they're going to the NBA, NFL, but most people don't, right? What happens to them after? A lot of them say, man, you know what? I like being around the youth. I like team atmosphere. I'm a good leader. Hey, man, I could be a coach or a teacher. 
Look what Cherry's doing now. He's walking in his purpose. His gifts and his passion led him to his purpose. Your gift, your passion, your purpose. Your purpose in life is to fulfill your life's purpose. Don't fake it until you make it. Be it and you will see it. Fulfillment is to the soul what the human heart is to the body. True power comes from competing with yourself. Your gift and your passion are the two master keys to the master door called your purpose. Who am I? What am I? Why am I here? Where is here? And who's talking? Balance is the key to life. What you subscribe to, you will be buying to. One of my favorite quotes is, comparison is the thief of all joy. Success without fulfillment is a trap. Aim above your target to hit your mark. Own your narrative. A purpose is the internal condition of success. Master Bruce Lee.